So I'll show you how to make a weatherproof generator powered flashlight. Now, one of the easiest ways to make a generator is actually with a motor. And one of the best types of motors in turn to make a generator from is a stepper motor. And the reason is because they are low speed motors. Uh, so I was saying you don't have to turn it very fast before it's really making some nice voltage. I can power the head of a flashlight. These LEDs are all in parallel, which means it only requires about three, three and a half volts. Now on the circuitry, uh, the output of the motor comes as two coils. Each pair is one coil and the circuit will work with either of them connected. See, I only need one pair to get the flashlight to turn on. But if I connect both of them, I only have to spin it half as fast and I get more power. See, the coils will add additional load also. Uh, it, it, there's more resistance as I'm spinning it. Um, because the whenever you put a load on the coil, it requires extra work. It's, it's just the way a generator works. When if you have no load at all, then the motor spins really freely. But the more load that you add, the more work you have to put into the system since you're expecting to get work out. Anyway, um, the first part of the circuit is two bridge rectifiers, one for each phase of the motor or each coil of the motor because they'll produce a sine wave as the motor rotates. One full, um, or actually 200, um, 200 cycles. So the output of a stepper motor from each coil will be a sine wave and the two coils will be 90 degrees out of phase with each other. That means that whenever one coil, the voltage is just reaching its peak, the one beside it is zero. And so the two bridge rectifiers, what they do is simply convert all the voltage from swinging positive and negative to only being positive voltage. But still, the output output will be very, say, lumpy looking from, it would be like rectified sine wave. Then the capacitor stores all the energy coming from the motor and the output of the capacitor looks like a smooth DC voltage. And that voltage will be proportional to how fast you spin it. If I spin it like this, it's maybe five volts. If I were to attach it to a motor, I could probably get 50 volts out of it. That would be a problem if you were trying to turn the LED on, it would burn out and you'd have to make sure it doesn't spin too fast. However, what I did is I put a switching regulator, which accepts a variable input voltage anywhere from five volts to 36 or something like that. And the output is set with this little knob. It's a variable resistor. And the output is set to exactly three volts, always. And it's a very efficient unit. It uses a transistor and it is, I think it's maybe 93, 95% efficient depending on uh, what voltage you're using and how much current and all that. Um, so that way it doesn't matter how fast you spin the motor, as long as you're spinning it fast enough to create the three volts for the LED, it will power, it, it will not uh, burn it up. Now, if you wanted to have a, a bigger load, say 10 of these, well, first of all, you would not need to change the circuit at all. You would just connect 10 of them in parallel. Also, you would probably notice that the stepper motor would be considerably harder to turn because of the added load. But 
and we do it. And then to make it weatherproof, you can just get a plastic container that's large enough to hold all the components. Well, hope you enjoyed learning how to make a weatherproof generator out of a stepper motor and some electronics.